Welcome Miami Lakers. Today is Tuesday, May 19th. My name is Councilman Luis Colazzo, and I'm joined by my colleagues Josh Diegas and the town manager Ed Peterman. And we're here today to give you our COVID-19 daily update. Mr. Manager, you want to go over some of our new numbers? Yep. Like we normally do every time, we give you a little bit of information about the number of confirmed cases. The uh, number of cases uh, did not increase from yesterday. So we have 65 confirmed cases in the town of Miami Lakes. Uh, if you remember, over the weekend, there was a large increase. It was not, we've gotten that confirmed by the state that it was not as a result of a large new number of cases. It was a backlog at the state and they put them all into the system over the weekend. So the number is 65 and that's our new number. Eh, le quería avisar que el número de casos confirmados positivo eh, no ha aumentado desde ayer. El número es 65 y ese número ustedes se acuerdan que en la final de la semana pasada eh, estaba como a 46 o 45 aumentó durante el fin de semana y no es porque ha habido eh, hubiera un caso nuevo pero solamente es que a través de las últimas tres semanas los casos en el estado se le han demorado en poner los números los casos confirmados en el sistema so, el número nuevo es 65 y vamos a ver cómo seguimos ahí Gonzalo. Thank you, gracias señor administrador Ahora queremos darles unas advertencias. We wanted to say a few other words and announcements. I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, Councilman Josh Diegas. Good afternoon, Miami Lakers. I just wanted to bring to your attention, for those of you that are small business owners in the town, that the county now has a new assistance program that, among other things, will also provide a PPE for your businesses. There are certain qualifications involved. You have to have gross tax receipts that do not exceed $250,000. Uh, dollars a year, you need to be able to have uh, the majority of your workforce uh, qualifying as a low or moderate income earner, and you also need to have less than 10 employees or independent contractors. There will be more information that will be forwarded to your email in the coming uh, hours. Um, I will also go ahead and take the initiative to post that information on my social media and share it to our two large groups, I Love Miami Lakes and uh, Miami Lakes residents. So, Please be on the lookout for that as availability is limited. The program is for $5 million, so when you do the math of the amount that they're uh, giving out against that total amount, it's about 200 uh, people and applicants that they will be able to accept. So as soon as you see that information uh, posted, be sure to check it out to review the requirements, determine if it's something that you can use for your business and that you need to use for your business, and then apply quickly if the answer is yes. So just wanted to share that information. Thank you very much. Thank you, Josh. I'm going to repeat what you said, or try to repeat as much as what you said in Spanish. Eh, mi colega, el concejal Joshua Diegues, quería dejarle saber a todos estos negocios que están ahora abriendo de nuevo, ahora que el condado nos ha dado permiso de abrir, que está ofreciendo un grant que le provee dinero para mascarilla y guantes y los equipos para protección personal en sus negocios. Eh, estos son fondos que van a estar limitados. Él va a estar mandando un correo electrónico y va a estar poniendo eh, esta advertencia en, la, en las redes sociales, entonces estar pendiente de esa información de parte del concejal Joshua Diegues. I also wanted to share an announcement uh, a little bit later this week on Friday at Royal Oaks Park. We will be hosting another food distribution event with Feeding South Florida. Uh, these food distribution events are on first come, first serve basis. We will start promptly usually around 10 a.m. and they usually go until about 1 p.m. or till whenever the supplies runs out or the food runs out. Nosotros vamos a estar eh, patrocinando otro evento con Feeding South Florida para distribución de comida en el parque de Royal Oaks el viernes. Entonces, si quieren más información sobre ese evento, me pueden mandar eh, un texto o me pueden mandar un correo electrónico y también vamos a estar avisando esa información en las redes sociales y también por correo electrónico. Mr. Manager, any other further updates or announcements, or we're going to go to some live questions? No, we can go to live questions. Uh, uh, Brendan, do you have uh, I questions don't see or comments? Any questions posted under the live? Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and com comment them now. So, Miami Lakers, if you have any questions, if you're just tuning in, we just went over our COVID-19 information. There was no change from yesterday's uh, numbers to today. 
Uh, so once again, we're doing a great job in making sure that that curve continues to remain flat. Um, a lot of the stuff that we have been encouraging individuals is as the county is opening up, as businesses start to open up, um, continue. This is not the time to lower your guard with regard to personal protective equipment. Make sure that as you go out and as you venture out and you continue to support these businesses and continue to support the small businesses in Miami Lakes, make sure you're wearing your personal protective equipment and make sure that they're doing the right thing. And I know we have an enforcement arm uh, that's here to make sure that those businesses are, are getting the education that they need. As Councilman Diego said, there's gonna be resources shared with these businesses to help them get the resources they need, not just to make sure that their employees are safe, but that their patrons are safe. So, si tienes pregunta, por favor, Usa esta oportunidad ahora para mandar preguntas. Eh, estamos aquí en vivo. Pero, eh, si hay alguna respuesta que podemos darle, quisiéramos darle esa oportunidad ahora. We do have one question. Johan just asked, I just got here. How many people are now positive in Miami Lakes to COVID-19? Johan, our, our number today is 65. There is no increase from yesterday. So the number of confirmed cases uh, uh, in the town of Miami Lakes is 65. And I wanted to just also, in addition to that, remind all business owners that if you're unsure about the specific guidance or the rules for your kind of business, the county, in addition to reopening the businesses, put out a very comprehensive guide. It's broken down by industry and the types of businesses. You can look at the index and you can go right to your kind of business. But that uh, guide is, there's a link for it on our website. It's at Miami Lakes dash fl dot gov forward slash coronavirus near the top of the page you'll see the uh, link for that guide it will take you the guide is 185 pages it's very extensive a lot of information but if you follow the index and go right to your kind of business it gives you all of the rules with regard to social distancing uh, any kind of uh, rule with regard to personal protective equipment, uh, all of the, that information is right on that guide. It's very helpful for, for business owners as we reopen our economy. I also just, you know, you might want to reiterate as well that this is something that the total, just wanted to also point out to our residents that when we're talking about the total number of cases, it's important to realize that that is from the start of this entire pandemic. So, you know, when you're talking about many of them have recovered. Exactly. The majority of them have no doubt recovered by this structure. So it's important that you put that number into perspective and not just to look at it solely as that number, that total number, but to look at it in the context of the amount of time that we have been keeping this record, which by now is over two months. So just wanted to uh, put that, you know, out there and, and put it in context. Es, sí, para los negociantes que están aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes, eh, le quería avisar que en la página web de nosotros tenemos un guía que el condado eh, publicó el viernes. Ese guía nos le dice, de, dependiendo del tipo de negocio que usted tiene, exactamente todas las regulaciones basadas en si la, la distancia, el distanciamiento social necesario toda la limpieza, todo ese tipo de información está basado, eh, está designado por de, el tipo de industria o el tipo de negocio. Usted puede buscar ese guía en la página web de nosotros en Miami Lakes Raya FL punto G -O -V, Raya Coronavirus. Ahí hay el tal link que dice el guía, el guide para ese libro que es extenso, es decir, más de 180 y pico libras, eh, pá, páginas, pero el, en el índice usted te puede buscar el tipo de negocio suyo y dirigirte a esa sección y te va a dar toda la información necesaria para estar seguro que la apertura de tu negocio va correctamente. Thank you, gracias, señor administrador. Do we have any other questions coming in live? Well, Miami Lakers, uh, we're going to be signing off in a little bit. We have a town council meeting tonight. Encourage you all to participate as well in our town council meeting. We'll be going live at 6.30. Uh, closing remarks um, from Councilman Diegas. Uh, no, just wanted to encourage everybody to be safe out there and continue to follow all the recommended guidelines. Um, you know, we have gotten to this point because of your sacrifice and your uh, willingness to uh, be part of the solution, not part of the problem. So we encourage you to continue to be part of the solution as we continue to move on into a, what they're calling the new normal. 
but it's really about us getting as close as possible to the to the lives that we have before. So we can only do that with your cooperation, your continued support. You guys have been fantastic, so please continue on that path. Thank you, Mayor Councilman Diegas. And again, we will have a food distribution on Friday. We need volunteers to sign up. We'll be doing out an email. We'll be sending out an email and putting advertisements on social media for a call for volunteers. Up to this point, Miami Lakers, we've been doing a great job. And as Councilman Diego said, let's not let our guard down. We want to make sure that these numbers continue to be flat. We want to continue to do our part. And we just want to make sure that Miami Lakers is healthy and safe. So thank you, Miami Lakers.